Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be bringing you God's truth today. Now, you know last week we were talking about what, what Peter said in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. According as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and goodness. Then he said, it is through the knowledge of him who has called us to glory and virtue. Now I need you to understand. That part is through the knowledge of him who has called you to glory and virtue. It means you will only know and assess the things that God has given to you when you increase in the knowledge of God. Now, I want to read something to you in Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23. Now, look at what God said here. He was prophesying and says, Thus says the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. See, you think you're a wise man. He said, don't glory in that your wisdom. And then he says, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glorieth glory in this. Listen, he says, if you want to glory, if you want to boast, this is what you should boast in. This is what you should glory about. If you want to be excited about something you've got, this is what you should be excited. He said, don't be excited that you've got money. Don't be excited that you are wise. Don't be excited that uh, whatever. You know, he says, if you want to be excited, be excited in this. What is it? I'll take it again. But let him that glory at glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am, a, I am the Lord which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. Then look at what it says for in these things I delight, saith the Lord. So now Jeremiah was speaking in the name of the Lord. So he says, if you want to glory about anything, this is what you should glory about. That you understand and know me. Now you understand when Peter began began to say, it is through the knowledge of God that you assess all things. That pertain to life and godliness. See, now, you, you need to get this. There are two ways you get knowledge. You either get it from someone else. Now, when I mean get it from someone else, either you read a book, you listen to someone, or you, um, you, 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 you study, you find it somewhere. See, and then when you do that, you gain knowledge. But there's a problem with that knowledge. The second way you get knowledge is when the Holy Spirit imparts knowledge into you. Now, this is the surest knowledge that you can get, and I'll tell you about it too. The first one, the knowledge you gain by learning, it most likely will produce pride in you. And you see, the fact that you read about something or you were taught something, you know, from a man from this world, it doesn't mean you will leave the full expression of it. But then, when the Holy Spirit gives you knowledge, now what happens to you when he does that? He is not just teaching you something. He is impacting something into your spirit. Now, because he's the one teaching you, you will find yourself getting up to walk in that knowledge effortlessly. And secondly, what you learn from the Holy Spirit will never produce pride inside of you. You know why? Because you realize that, hey, it came to you freely. And then rather, rather than walking in pride, you'll find yourself asking this question, why is everybody not walking in this truth? Why is this thing so difficult for people to get? This thing is so simple. Why, why is everyone not getting it? See, why? Because you will realize how simple it came to you. But you know what? When, before it came to you, he had taken you through certain journeys. You know, He has taught you this, like he said, Precept must be upon precept. Line must be upon line. So to you now, you realize that, and, and that's the funny thing about the Lord. See, when he opens your eyes to something, the first thing that happens to you, like, dear God, how, how come I never saw it before? Because you realize that it was just there all the while. You know, sometimes you've read the scripture, read a certain scripture many times, and then the Lord just tells you, this is what I said. Say, oh, no, 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 Lord. And I said, that scripture. And then you look at the scripture. And your eyes are open. Like, what? 
This thing has been here all this while. How come I never saw it? Now you have a responsibility. You want to tell everybody about it. See? But you know, something you gain from a book, something you gain from listening to someone else, sometimes you even want to hurt it. See, you want to, I want to feel special when I share this thing. But when the Lord teaches you something, you can't keep quiet about it. I, I know what I'm talking about. You just can't keep quiet about it. Praise God. Now that's why you owe yourself this responsibility to go before the Lord and let him teach you things. He is the only one that can teach you the knowledge of God. No man can teach you the knowledge of God. Now, why do you need the knowledge of God? So that you can assess all these things that has been given to you. Listen, the Lord said we are in the season of restoration. And he's restoring the years that have passed. But how is he going to do that? He's doing that through the knowledge of him. So he's going to be guiding you into guiding you into all truth like Jesus said to know him better and as you know him better you realize the things that belong to you and you begin to assess them praise God I've got to stop here but we're going to continue tomorrow but listen pause for a moment I say Holy Spirit can you teach me the knowledge of God and he will and you will see the difference praise God have a wonderful day today until tomorrow bye bye